right, you have been solving these exponential equations and you were told to get the same base and then you could just simply use what was in the exponent. Well, what if I have something that looks like this? How do I get zero to, uh, I don't know what to do. You're going to see coming up when we get to logarithms what this E even means, but just think of it. It's just a base right now. We don't really know what to think about it. But what if I moved the E to the other side? Oh, look, 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 look there. Now what has happened, can't you write anything to the first power? Like I always thought it'd be cool to have a kid and say, how old are you? Three to the first power. Or maybe they're nine. They're three squared. <laughs> so you can write that that way, right? So now I, I have matched my bases. I can simply make the exponents equal to each other. I can add three to both sides. I get two X equals four. I divide by two and by boom, I get my final answer. But stay tuned, we will learn more about what this E even means when we get to logarithms.